All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 21. All right. So we're going to use list item li elements to create items in a list. So here's an example of a list items in an unordered list. So we've got the uh, UL right here, like we made last time, the unordered list. And then we've got these list items uh, surrounded by the LI tags, like milk and cheese right here, all right? So when the UL elements nest, pardon me, so within the UL elements, we're gonna nest three list items to display three things cats love. Catnip, laser pointers, and lasagna. All right. So let's come up here and check out what the list item actually is. LI elements in HTML. We'll just come right down here, right? So here's an example to start with. We've got one ordered list and uh, one ordered, honey, one unordered list right here. So let's try it for ourselves. So the ordered one is going to look like this: one, two, three, and then the unordered one is going to have uh, what is it? Little bullets right here, right? And that's basically how that works. Uh, so here's the definition and usage. So the li tag defines a list item. The li tag is used inside ordered lists and pardon me ordered lists unordered lists and in menu lists okay we've never i've never uh, used that one or maybe i have i don't know i can't remember uh in ul in menu the list items will usually be displayed with bullet points all right uh in ol the list items will usually be displayed with numbers or letters all right just like we saw in the example uh, so there's that. Here's attribute. We can have value. Uh, that's only for order list, and it specifies the start value of the list item. I guess it could start at like 10 or 20 or 15 or whatever, right? And then here's some more examples. Uh, we could check that out if we wanted to, but it's just going to be a bunch more bullets, all right? So let's come over here, and let's start this up. So we're going to start up by saying uh, li like this, and then a close li. And then we're going to use a little trick so we don't have to do this uh, so many times. We're going to highlight this whole thing from uh, this angle bracket up to this angle bracket. We're going to copy it. And then from this angle bracket, we're going to paste it one, two times. That way it catches the uh, enter each time. So now we've got uh, three bullets right here. And we're going to start off by putting catnip, then laser pointers, then lasagna. Right. So we'll say catnip like this. And then we'll put laser pointers like this, laser pointers like this. And then we'll put lasagna right here. Uh, lasagna, like that. And you can see right here, now we've got an unordered list like that. So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 22 and we'll see you next time.